first only dance school that specializes in three separate dance styles, including hip hop or urban choreography, popping, and breaking or break dancing. We've got classes for both kids as well as adults, but the thing that sets us apart from other schools is that we've developed a class structure that can take a beginner and progress them through different stages of our program to get them up to an advanced level. Our core business revolves around group classes, however, we do also provide private tuition for our clients. When I was first learning how to dance, I found a number of things that I didn't like about the dance studio I was attending, and also a number of things that I did like. So when I created CDA, I tried to incorporate as many of the things that I did like as possible, and address the things that I didn't like to try and create a better experience for our students. So there are three things that I want to address. First, we've put a maximum capacity on all our classes. The reason we've done this is to ensure that students have more time with the teachers, that there's a better student to teacher relationship to encourage question asking. And it feels way better to be able to have your own space to dance rather than bumping into the next person every few seconds. Next is a progression in skill level. There is a clear path for students to follow in order to improve in skill level. Beginners start off by learning the basics, building a strong foundation, and then once they're comfortable and have the skill level to move on to the next stage, they can do so with ease. It always helps when it's made clear to you what you need to do in order to progress, and that's what we want to give to our students. Lastly, end of year concerts. While end of year concerts and performances are fun and set a goal for students to work towards, the fact that I paid six months of fees to only learn one choreographed set didn't really agree with me. So to try and fix this at CDA, we've structured our classes in a unique way that still gives students goals to work towards, but we've just sped things up a little bit. Hip-hop or urban choreography classes are broken up into stages A, B and C. Beginners start off in stage A where they'll learn grooves, timing, how to distribute their weight, and the hip-hop or urban choreography style. For adult classes, the terms are broken down into six week blocks. Stage A students will learn two separate pieces of choreography to fill in those six weeks, so three weeks a piece. And once students are comfortable with stage A, they can then progress to stage B, where the choreography gets more intricate and the teaching pace increases. Students will learn two separate pieces of choreography in the first four weeks, and then in the fifth week, the two pieces will be combined and group formations and transitions will be added to create a mini performance. Then in the sixth and final week of the term, the class focuses on cleaning the entire performance, making sure everyone's on point, and then it's filmed. The students wait a couple of days for editing and then the finished video will be put up on YouTube for students to show their friends and family. Lastly, the same structure is used for stage C classes where the choreography is taught at a fast pace and special attention is paid to the intricacies of each choreographed piece. Popping classes are currently broken up into stages A and B. Popping classes focus more on freestyle techniques rather than choreography. However, students are encouraged to practice and make up their own choreographed sets using the techniques taught in class. Stage A introduces students to the pop or the hit that is crucial in popping. They then taught specific foundational techniques such as the Fresno, walkout, twisto flex and others. At the end of the six weeks there will be a filmed cipher at the end of class which will be edited and put online to show their friends and family. This also serves as an improvement technique for students as they can watch themselves dance on camera and pick out things that they need to work on. Stage B uses the same six week class structure but teaches students more advanced moves as well as how to interpret different types of music and speed variations. Breaking or breakdance classes are broken up into stages A and B as well. Breaking classes also focus more on freestyle techniques rather than the choreography. However, students are encouraged to practice and make up their own choreographed sets using the techniques taught to them. Stage A introduces students to foundational techniques including basic top rocks, which is the stuff that you do on your feet, then transitions down to the floor, then basic footwork or floor work moves, and lastly, students will be taught baby freeze, chair freeze, and headstands. Now, at the end of each six-week term, there will be a film cipher at the end of the class, which will be edited and then put online for students. Once students are comfortable with the techniques in stage A, they can then progress to stage B, where they'll learn more advanced footwork and freezes, and also be introduced to power moves, such as windmills, 
flares, swipes and head spins. If you're wanting to start dance classes but are afraid or intimidated by us, please don't be. We are all beginners at one stage and we all understand how difficult it is to try and pick up a new skill when you've never done anything like it before. All we ask is that you have a clear goal before starting, whether it be to get fit and lose 5 kilos or whether it be to win a, a popping competition in 2 years or whatever. It doesn't matter. Let us know what your goals are and we'll try our best to help you get there.